Hostiles, 12 o'clock and 6 miles. What is this tack they're looking for anyway? It's some kind of weapon left by the ancients. The kind that decides who wins the war. Have Moloch's warriors been here before? I don't like the look of this. That was above and beyond. Isn't the Lambda site off-world, sir? I'd like to briefly take a moment and say thank you to everyone who has continued to join us over the Florida Maquis Patreon channel. The Holy Bible teaches us, rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. If you'd like to join us over there, it's only one U.S. dollar per month at the base level, and even less than that if you sign up for an entire year, and no matter what level you choose, it's fully refundable. First 90 days, no questions asked. What's the difference between YouTube and Patreon? At Patreon, we can take the gloves off. There are no sensors. We have, of course, the Patreon firewall, and then we also have Vimeo that we're partnering with, and that gives us one extra layer of protection where we can speak our minds and we can take advantage of rights that we used to enjoy in this country freely. would love to have you over there. There are hundreds of of exclusive videos never before seen here on YouTube. Please, if you have the ability, would love to have you over there. You won't regret it. God bless all of you, and thank you so much. I think one of the easier mistakes to make when we are investigating Antarctica is to assume that any culture we might find on there would be representative of the entire continent. Antarctica is larger than all of Europe, which is why I have this picture up. And if we think back through history, all of the different um, varying cultures over time, Portugal, Austria, Ukraine, Norway, Ireland, Greece, all this, um, so different. And when you add in the time factor, when you go back to the Normans, the Visigoths, the Franks, even back farther, the, the Merovingian dynasties, Antarctica is even more ancient than that. So there are things that we are going to find, more than likely, that will be representative of one thing at one time, but not all things. One thing, however, that the vast majority of Europe had in common was this. You could see a medieval castle and pretty much determine what era it was from based on how it was built. Now, this is one, I believe, somewhere in Eastern Europe. The name of it was really long, and I wasn't going to try to butcher it, but because the images are more important than the names. And how they were put together, and this is going to be the key with today's video, um, I have found what looks like the remains of something like a medieval castle down there and it's in that same region and where it's located is very strategic which is one of the main reasons I'm leaning toward it being a construction and not just some figment of wind ice rock and snow you of course and this is a little bit more of a um, complex one here because you have the uh, the second the Barbican out here and then you have the entry here, the entry here, you have the keep, the chapel, the main building, um, somewhere much more simple, like this. You know, this was your Barbican here, and this was the keep. 
a lot of the parapets around the battlements. And that's kind of what I wanted to focus on is how these battlements were built with the, the slit windows. This is generally speaking what we're looking at. Now let me show you where we're at down here. Okay, the first place we're going to go, we've been before. And I've shown this a lot. And of all the things that we have shown down here, no one has ever come to me and said, I have an explanation for this. I can attest to this being just wind, ice, rock, and snow, and this is why it looks this way. No one has ever done that. And... I've shown a great many things, and many people have made explanation for, but this is not one of those things. But what do we see? We see what looks like battlements, what looks like parapets. And I think what we're looking at is this is the main side, and you see this over here? This is like a short side, because you see it goes lower, and the angle of the shadow reveals exactly what this is. Now, what's happening over here, I'm not real sure, but I think this is a figment that where they tried to cover this, and they did it badly. They did it very badly. Not thinking anybody was going to look at this. I think this continues all the way through here, and they tried to just cover it up. This is an image from, I have the 12-9-2014 layer up. Let's see. Yeah, you see this? This is 10-16-2011, 12-9-2014. So, as you can see, they're playing with the images, and you have to ask yourself why. Now, the newest find is much smaller and in a different region. And you have to look at this very closely. I'm going to zoom out to show where this is. This is goes along with uh, yesterday's video where I showed that kind of weird peak that looked like it was perhaps the top of a pyramid. You see how you have this, this higher area here? And then it's surrounded by a plane. So if you were going to have a lookout, you would want it right on the edge here. If you were going to have fortresses, you would want it to, if this was an important area, this high area right here, that's where you'd want them. And this is, of course, right on the edge, right near a big plane. Now, let me zoom in here and show you what I'm looking at. What got me looking at this was the shadow. See how perfect these angles are? Now, yes, I know this is blurry, but look at how you have the larger building in back here, the lower wall in front, you have what looks like a keep here to the left. And you can see the interior of this square shape. The way the sun is hitting it, there's a shadow being cast on the interior. So we don't have a solid block of something here. We have what looks like an enclosed area. Now this area right here in front, Looks like there's some damage to it. And, you know, made allegation about the cataclysm that happened down here. That could be part of it. But this very, very much looks like some type of construction. A tower here and a keep here to the left. And there's another, what looks like perhaps damaged tower in front right here. And look at this shadow right here. It shows something else. It shows that there's also a very tall um, tower here. Perhaps what we're looking at is the remnants of that first image I showed where they had the Barbican and then another drawbridge. And when we continue to look in the region, there are things that just... Uh, don't make sense. Look at these walls, these perfectly straight walls. And yeah, it looks like there's some damage done for sure. 
But we saw stuff like this in World War I. They were trenches, but the idea was the same. Now, I know there's going to be many people say, oh, that's just how the, the wind affects the snow and it creates these. Not in straight lines like that, it doesn't. I mean, this is a combination of both. I, I truly believe that there is construction here and that the snow and the ice has built up around it. And let me show you another tower right here. Look at this. You can't tell me that this is just some giant hunk of ice sticking out all by itself. Because I ask the question again of my naysayer. How could something like this have survived? If it were just, how would it have developed, I guess is a better way of saying that. Because when we zoom back out, as you can see, giant windswept plain coming in here with this continual sandblasting action of the ice, unless there was some type of creation of something that was much harder and much more um, reinforced than just simple ice, we wouldn't see this. And through here, there's evidence of many, many more things that just really don't have any good explanation of how that could have occurred by itself, naturally. It's all over the place. I just have a hard time believing that things this tall, this, um, I guess the, the word is artificial, could just have been created all by themselves. The vast majority, and I will make this um, one concession, the vast majority of the content continent, pardon me, is wind, ice, rock, and snow. You're absolutely right. But there are areas where there are things that are just inexplicable to that. And if it's not that, what else could it be? Given the size of the continent, given what we know, and I think most would agree with me, if a planet like this were found, not here on Earth, if it was an, a planet somewhere in a <clears throat> outer space, and there was this amount of fresh water, and there were these kind of images, I think you would be seeing daily press conferences. Like, seriously, what is this? Saying, we are almost 110% sure that we are going to find evidence of not only life, but intelligent life. Because of the vast amount of fresh water, the volcanic activity, and the, the images, the imagery. I mean, look at how sharp this peak is whatever this is. And the great part about this is that anybody can go look at this. I'm not showing you anything that I have um, enhanced, anything that I have added anything to. I give all the coordinates. Google Earth Pro is free. You do have to have a computer. You can't have it on a smartphone or a tablet for some reason to look at these images. And you can download it, pop in the coordinates that I share, and you can look at this stuff for yourself. It's not like you have to go to some weird website where the images are all, you know, messed with. This is public database. Some of the things I just have no words for, personally. And when you finally do zoom back out and you get an idea of the scope of what we're looking at here, 
and how big this region is. The chances of it being completely uninhabited, I think, are almost zero. So, an exciting time to be alive, guys. It really is. And I will, uh, I guess, leave going back to this so that people can see it for themselves and make up their own minds. I mean, what do you think this is? And I'll leave it there. Like, share, subscribe. Would like to briefly take a moment and say thank you to everyone who has continued to join us over the Florida Maquis Patreon channel. The Holy Bible teaches us, Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. If you'd like to join us over there, it's only one U.S. dollar per month at the base level, and even less than that if you sign up for an entire year, and no matter what level you choose, it's fully refundable. First 90 days, no questions asked. What's the difference between YouTube and Patreon? At Patreon, we can take the gloves off. There are no sensors. We have, of course, the Patreon firewall, and then we also have Vimeo that we're partnering with, and that gives us one extra layer of protection where we can speak our minds and we can take advantage of rights that we used to enjoy in this country freely. would love to have you over there. There are hundreds of exclusive videos never before seen here on YouTube. Please, if you have the ability, would love to have you over there. You won't regret it. God bless all of you, and thank you so much. Hostiles, 12 o'clock and 6 miles. What is this tech they're looking for anyway? It's some kind of weapon left by the ancients. The kind that decides who wins the war. Have Moloch's warriors been here before? I don't like the look of this. That was above and beyond, Crimson King. Isn't the land a sight off-world, sir?